The following portion of daytime is sponsored by the Sonoma County Tourism Bureau and California Travel and Tourism Commission. Hey, welcome back to daytime, everybody. You know, for such a little lady, we sure know that Cindy has a larger than <laughs> average appetite. And a pretty big thirst. She is uh, hitting up two great restaurants in Santa Rosa, California, and they're both owned by the same guy. When you think of Sonoma County, California, chances are you think wine. And for good reason. There are some great wineries around here, but there's also some amazing food and local breweries. We've got Josh Silvers joining us now from Jackson's Bar and Oven, and you created this place not only because you wanted to have a really cool restaurant, but you needed a good chicken wing. I did. I couldn't find great chicken wings in Sonoma County, and so my wife and I decided uh, after 12 years of owning Syrah Bistro, we would open up another restaurant, name it after our son Jackson, and now we have great chicken wings, some amazing pizzas, a little more casual vibe than uh, Syrah. So I would say this is wine country eating. So what makes your chicken wing different from all the others? Well first we take local chicken wings, we get them in Petaluma, so they're right down the road a piece, and then we brine them overnight with a um, New Orleans brine, so it's salt, a little bit of garlic, and a, just a touch of sugar, and it keeps them nice and moist and plump. And then we deep fry them with just a little bit of flour, a little bit of salt, and then our sauce is the the Frank's Red Hot, the traditional, but we add a little Tabasco and we add a little Sriracha chili. What about this pizza I've got in front of me? Tell me a little bit more about this. So this one we've, we've got and we're going to drink a little Literai Pinot Noir with it. And now is this local? This is a local Sonoma Coast Pinot, cool climate. Um, and so this is wild mushrooms, a little Fontina, a little bit of Parmesan, a little bit of mozzarella, and then a little bit of truffle oil. <gasps> and mushrooms, truffles, and Pinot are just such a a marriage in heaven. It's like ham and cheese. Here, this is for you to try. Oh this is a tough assignment, I'll tell you. And then try this beer. This is a local uh, brewery up in Healdsburg called Racer 5, a really nice hoppy IPA. Because mm. we say in wine country, it takes a lot of good beer to make good wine. That, <laughs> I like that. Just down the road from Jackson's is Silver's other restaurant, Syrah Bistro. A little more upscale, this place is all about wine and food pairings. In this restaurant, we're more concerned about wine and food pairings. Um, we're drinking beer at Jackson's, but here it's all about the wine. What advice do you have for diners? My first advice is to have fun. Wine shouldn't be a big, serious mystery. If you don't know, ask. You know, we've got amazing servers in Sonoma and, and sir, uh, cooks and chefs, and we live to pair food and wine. So this is Carignan, which is a fun red wine. And then this is the Madame Preston, which is a Marsan, Roussan, Viognier blend. And it goes great with food. Well, speaking of food, we have quail. We do have some quail. And Lynn here is bringing it over for us. She's been at the restaurant for over 11 years. And just like over at Jackson's, your other restaurant, you believe in local. Local. Local farms, local produce, local vineyards. Local, yeah, I mean, we're not xenophobic. I mean, we, we, we also believe in what's best. Mm -hmm. So, but this is all very local. How was the quail prepared? What, what, how did your chef do this? So what we did was we just uh, roasted in a pan, roasted the figs, and then um, we made this lovely vinaigrette because it's got some nice acidity to it. Um, and you'll find that when you drink the wine, it has acidity to it, which is, um, gives it that, that part that you want to drink again. I always use the sommelier because I'm never quite sure what to pair with what. And why not go with the experts? That's why they do what they do, right? Mmm. And you can see the wine really changes with the food. It does. So we really, like at Syrah, we really believe there's a symbiotic relationship between wine and food. And these are all Rhone varietals, which is Syrah is also, which is what we named the restaurant after. Very good. For anybody who wants to be able to cook like you, or at least try. <laughs> they can go to SyrahBistro.com and get my book that I wrote with my friend Jeff Mall from Zinn Restaurant. Thank you for your hospitality and for letting me try both your restaurants. Like I say, Jackson's is Syrah, uh, wine country eating, Syrah wine country dining, really to get the full wine and food experience, you can come to both. I like that. I like the way you think. Josh Silvers, thanks. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Let's continue on. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the preceding portion of daytime was sponsored by the Sonoma County Tourism Bureau and California Travel and Tourism Commission.